This trading strategy will blow your mind. I hope this is better than everything you paid before or ever saw before. And this is a full strategy that even though when you're not going to be a good trader, that you can still suck and still make profits. We're talking about a trading strategy with a high risk reward ratio and a very low learning curve. So just keep watching. I'm going to hold it so short as possible. And that if you do that, so within the next five or 10 hours that you get your results so good as possible using a demo account. So we're using here TradingView, the ES1 exclamation mark and the one minute chart. And you can use this with any chart, any market you want, but I love to use this market because it's one of the most high profitable things I ever know. There'll be days where the market is not moving that much and there'll be days where the market is moving a lot. And when the move market is moving a lot in one direction and it's more obvious, this is exactly where I love to attack, where I love to tackle my trades. Having a good risk reward ratio means always that if I can risk three times $10 and get $50 out and seven times $10 and lose that $10, I can still make profit because that means three times $50 is $150, seven times $10 is $70 and 150 subtracted by the $70 is still $80 in profit. So not every trade needs to win and it's very important not every 10 trades need to be placed in the same week. It's something about the process within this week, next week and the week after. So we're going to use here the Anchor View and you find this on the left side of Trading View. here the Anchor View. So once the market is making a lot of red or a lot of green candles, just placing it on the highest point. This is something what I really love. And then once the market touches back, the Anchor Web literally just trading a color switch, making sure that there's a risk reward ratio of five. I'll show this to you. This is the highest point right now. Sadly, the market doesn't touch this. Then the market does you a lot of red candles again. So taking the Anchor Web now, placing it here on the highest spot, and there you go. Now we can see that the market goes back and touches the Anchor Web. This is a rejection wick, and these can be very complicated to trade. So what I highly advise is to trade the color switch, place the stop above the anchor we web this is something what is very important always make sure it's not about the entry too much it's about where is the stop placement and then the risk reward ratio is the entry to stop placement the ratio between that and the take profit what would be the slow or when pulling the market together maybe we can see here something on the left side here and if i'm going to draw here like some lows inside this is what i love as take profits just like any lows here like these and then we can take also this one to the bottom and then the the distance to this low just like from this trade example that we just had so when going out to the space where i was just drawing in the short trade where is that there we go then we have here risk reward ratio of 2.62 and this is not enough i want to have a risk reward ratio of five so making sure that i can get a risk reward ratio of five if, if that doesn't occur i shall not place a trade in this case and then not making the trade at all we go to another scenario where we have a lot of red candles again we can see the market here pushes here down a lot again and then placing the anchor wheel on the next spot on this high as you can see here for example there we go. And then now the anchor we the market touches here the anchor we web. Now we have here a red candle. And this is something what I think is very important to mark always if there's a long red candle not to trade. Because there are always three options. The first one is to buy, the second one is to sell, the third one is not to trade at all. And if there's nothing to trade, I think this is this is very nice. And then we have here the second option here where the market touches the anchor we up. If we make this one and then having to take profit here, there's just a risk reward ratio of three. It is very hard sometimes not to trade these kind of things, but this is something what is very important. We're now going to another day where we have a lot of red candles. Here we can see the market go, goes in one direction. Now we place, this here, place here the anchor we up on the top. And then once the market goes there, this is very important and does a color switch that needs to look, that needs to be small. If it's not small, if it's long like here, it shall not be a trade. This is something what is very important. When pulling the market together, we can also see that this is a contraction phase. And there are just two patterns what I really love. The first one is where the market is in a contraction phase, goes out and goes back in. The second one is where the market goes trending. In this case, we have scenario number one. And as you can see here, above this contraction phase, the market just does a very long green and red candle. So it's not advisable, I think, to make your entry for short. It's better to trade on another day. Or what is also very nice is to place the anchor we up here on the top position here 
of the color switch. Sadly, the market doesn't touch touch here. The Anchor Wheel doesn't cut enough down. It just cuts down here enough. But here's the thing. You can see here that the Anchor Wheel touches this. And then when trading this one now, there's our risk reward ratio of five, aiming here for this low. So market comes back. It's very important to pull the market always together like this, that you can see the bigger structure here. Always playing with the anchor we web. How is it confirming right now, right? Because this is a contraction phase. It's very hard to trade here. Then the market pushes here down with a lot of red candles and then placing it here and then making sure if it comes back then to trade here the color switch, for example, here, risk reward ratio of 7.8. Here, for example, is a risk reward ratio of 7.8 again. So it's okay to trade these both things. It's totally fine. There are some patterns that if the market does higher lows against one that I think it's not good to trade. But the goal is first one not to have a high strike rate. The goal is at all to first trade profitable. If I have 10 trades that only three trades are working. If we are, we if we can see the market does a lot of red candles, we have here a mid rotation here where my mouse is. If we place the anchor wave a bit lower, but this is very dangerous because if we place it too low, the dangerous part would be that we try to sh sell here on the bottom side, and this is very dangerous. It needs to be more on the top, so pulling the market always together like this, so we can nicely see how this contraction phase is cutting down. And now when we have their color switch, making sure if this is the color switch, very important, right? Like green red making the stop placement here, up here, pulling the market together, looking where the, these lows are. Here we have a very big low. Here we have a bigger structure low, for example. This one also. And then here also. And then identifying how much market pressure there is, adjusting the risk reward ratio of five, what is very important. The question is always, is it realistically that it goes here to this low? Because if there's a distance between, here's also a little low here. If there's a distance between here and there, and this distance is so big between these lows, the market will have a hard time pushing through. This is totally normal. So it's more about like on these stations, how can I see that where the market is reacting? Can I see that the market is from here going to push down? Can I see here that the market is going to push more further? Is the market here having a hard time because there's this big gap? Or like between these two here, you can see here because there's this gap here a bit that the market reaches this one, but certainly not the, the lower part. And to train this is just experience and when being finished with trading to check it afterwards and then afterwards how many times am I correct and then, you, then the trader will get a feeling into it. It's totally normal to have a weak mindset if one never have invested the experience. This is something what is very important. The first important thing is to invest literally the time with the risk reward ratio and the entries that they are very nice and then if that works then to make, to concentrate more on the on the take profits. First of all, I think what is very realistically is to manage here to do the, these two lines here where my mouse is. When looking here to these lows, what is very important. And um, this has only said the uh, risk reward ratio of 2.67. So it would be better, from my opinion, not to enter the trade. It's more about like maybe there's something like a retracement, placing it on the highest points as we did here with the anchor VWAP of the mid rotation, because this is the highest rotation, it's the mid rotation. And then once the market goes here or there and it touches the anchor VWAP and it does here the color switch to trade these kind of things, what is very important, it will be here this color switch, the red candle here in this case. And then you can see the market cuts here nice in. And then we have here the first signal here. We have the second signal would be down here, right? And both of these, as you can see here, has a risk reward ratio of five. This will occur almost every day when trading. It's just very important that when we now look at the market, we take here now five minutes or 10 minutes just for two or three trading days. If you're going to sit on the computer for one or two hours, you're going to invest one or two hours just for one trading days, it's f it takes full of concentration. Here, for example, we have a very big contraction phase and always when these phases happens, as I just was drawing here over paint, here number one is from outside to inside. So in this case, it's from the bottom to top. So looking here forward, here's a mid rotation to place the anchor we are put on the, here on this bottom here. And then once the market is on the bottom of the contraction phase, does a color switch and a higher low. This is what I really love to trade and then up to the middle of a contraction phase or here, for example, there will be plenty of times where we also get stopped out. Yes, but this is totally normal. Always making sure that if I have 10 trades that I get stopped out seven times and three times are only needs to be only needs to be right. 
to almost duplicate the risk. It means making out of $1,000, $800 because three times $500 is 1,500 and seven losing trades of $100 is literally $800 in profit and that just with $1,000. Of course, there's a margin, margin also included, very important. Please use a demo account for this. I hope that you, this is a trading strategy that can help you out. You find more if you go to trade with jd.com slash training. It's a free video course. I hope it's better than anything you paid before. And if then, then just check out this channel. I always talk about the same trading strategy.